We, we took it up to the John Radcliffe um, Hospital, to the radiology department, and we took about 2,500 CT scans. And it was very exciting because the Egyptologists didn't know at the Ashmolean really if there was anything actually inside the bandaging. So when we first got a glimpse of his little toes, she was so excited. And we wanted to establish, um, well, first of all, the gender of the child and possible cause of death and the age of the child. So there was a lot, um, th th there was a lot of investigation going on and it was a very exciting day. And I wanted to create the child's life size. So in the end, I used 111 sheets of glass and on each sheet, I took details of scans and drew those in ink onto the glass onto these multiple sheets of glass and then once they were put together you get this three-dimensional um, image of the child which we can show how the child is lying, what, is, um, what the child looks like but without ever disturbing his bandages. It's a very intimate glimpse really and we discovered all sorts of things about the child. He had um, hip dysplasia so we know that he would have walked with uh, quite a pronounced limp. Um, we, we found out that he probably died of pneumonia because he had thickening of the lung and uh, at the time, we were able also to establish that, a, a dentist established that um, he had a very rare dental condition where instead of having um, four um, baby teeth at the front, he only had two. So he would have um, had you know, quite, quite large front teeth. And the other ones, we can see from the scans, the adult teeth are just waiting to come through.